A Summary of the Red-Headed League by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle Chapter 1 One day, Dr. Watson visited his friend Sherlock Holmes at his home in London. When he arrived, Sherlock Holmes was talking to a man in his living room. The man's name was Mr. Jabez Wilson. Mr. Wilson knew that Holmes was a famous detective who could solve crimes, and he wanted him to solve a mystery. While Mr. Wilson was talking, Holmes looked at him carefully. He looked at Mr. Wilson's face, his hands and his clothes. He worked out that Mr. Wilson used to be a labourer, that he visited China in the past, and that he did a lot of writing. When Sherlock Holmes told Mr. Wilson this information, he was very surprised, because everything Sherlock Holmes said was true. Mr. Wilson decided that Holmes must be a wonderful detective. Mr. Wilson started telling Holmes his story. He had a small shop in London where he worked with his assistant, Vincent Spaulding. Not many people visited Mr. Wilson's shop, and he wasn't a rich man. One day, Mr. Spaulding showed him an advert in the newspaper for a job with the Red-Headed League. The Red-Headed League found jobs for men with red hair. Mr. Spaulding wanted Mr. Wilson to ask about the job because Mr. Wilson had red hair and the job was only a few hours a week. The money could really help Mr. Wilson and his small shop. That afternoon, Mr. Spaulding took Mr. Wilson to the Red-Headed League. There were a lot of men waiting outside the office, and they all had red hair. But Mr. Spaulding pushed past all the men until they were outside the door. They went inside and met the manager, Mr. Duncan Ross, who told them about the job. The person who got the job would have to come to the office every day between 10 and 2 o'clock. He wouldn't be able to leave the office during this time. While he was in the office, he would have to copy all the information from a large encyclopedia into a book. The pay was four pounds a week. This was a lot of money. Mr. Ross told Mr. Wilson that if he could start work the next day, he could have the job. Mr. Wilson was very surprised but quickly said yes. Chapter 2 The next day, Mr. Wilson bought a pen, some ink and some paper and went to the Red-Headed League. He thought about the job. Could it be real? It seemed foolish to copy an encyclopedia. But, to his surprise, when he arrived at the office, Mr. Ross was waiting for him. So, Mr. Wilson sat at the table and started work. He copied information from the encyclopedia into a book until two o'clock. Then he went home. Mr. Wilson went to the office every day, and at the end of the week, he received his pay of four pounds. The work was easy, and he was very content. This continued for eight weeks. One day, he went to the office, but it was locked. There was a letter on the door that said, The Red-Headed League has closed. Mr. Wilson didn't know what to do. He asked the landlord why the office was closed, but the landlord said that he didn't know. He said that he didn't know Mr. Ross. 